We have Rachel here with Luxury Daily. Rachel, why do you think it's so important for Rolls-Royce um, to be doing this effort in China? Um, well, since Rolls-Royce operates mainly through dealership um, to customer basis, um, I think that it's really important that um, Rolls-Royce has these specific meetings with the most elite and uh, most wealthy people in China. Um, I think that it just kind of goes along with its strategy. Um, you know, of interacting with consumers face to face. Um, you know, it's obviously not a lot of consumers can afford to buy Rolls Royce products, um, nor do they need to. It's a very emotive product, and it's not a necessity. So I really think that luxury consumers um, really enjoy a face to face interaction because I don't think that they're buying um, just the Rolls Royce product; they're buying the Rolls Royce experience. Um, and you know, meeting with these customers, um, you know, having a private experience. There's a private tour involved. I'm sure. Um, you know, just a lot of things going on, uh, you know, in one-on-one -on -one, uh, basis. I really think that, um, you know, it's a really great thing that Rolls-Royce is doing. And you think this would work for other luxury brands, or is this something that Rolls-Royce um, should just use itself? Um, well, I definitely think that it could work for other luxury brands, but I definitely think that it works for um, Rolls-Royce in general. Um, you know, Rolls-Royce has a very uh, bespoke nature to it. It's, uh, you know, its models are bespoke. Um, and also its customer service is bespoke as well. Um, so I feel like kind of tailoring experience to a specific customer is very Rolls Royce, um, but it's also very luxury. So I think that a lot of luxury brands um, could be using this form of uh, interaction, but it won't work nearly as well. Great, thank you.